Hey everyone, Leo Bond here. I'm back again today, and this time it's with a quick look at the all-new DJI Phantom 4 quadcopter drone. Now, my goal with this video is simply to highlight some of my favorite features and other cool aspects of this awesome little machine, which was sent over to me by Best Buy Canada for some quick testing and a review. So this video isn't exactly comprehensive, it's more of a quick little overview video. For more details and specs and whatnot, you can always check out my complete written review at the Best Buy Canada plug-in blog, for which I will post the link in the comments section below. Now the main thing that I'm hoping you'll take away from this video is the very high quality resolution of the Phantom 4's aerial footage. This thing has a 4K camera that's mounted to a reinforced gimbal and as we go through the video I'll keep going back and forth between video shot by the drone itself and video of the drone in flight as seen from the ground up which was taken with an ordinary cell phone camera albeit a slightly older model. It's actually an iPhone 4 and you see it right there. Uh, so pay particular attention to the stark contrast in the image quality between the two perspectives and that will give you your first clue as to how amazing the camera on this Phantom 4 drone actually is. Now aside from the awesome footage that you can get with this drone, there are also a few other things that I really love about it. First and foremost amongst these is the fact that the Phantom 4 can fly for up to 28 minutes on a single battery charge which blows most other drones right out of the sky. It also has a total range of 5 kilometers, that's 3.1 miles, and it can achieve a total altitude of 6,000 meters. But, for safety reasons, the DJI software greatly restricts how far you can fly while in beginner mode. So you don't have to worry about losing your drone over in the next town or something because it just took off on you. Another thing I really like about this drone is that it doesn't come with a whole lot of extra parts and bits and pieces in the package. You know, sometimes when you open up one of these drones, there's so much stuff in the box, it's just chaos in there and it's difficult to understand it all. This thing comes with everything you need to take to the air, but not a whole lot more. For instance, there aren't separate chargers for the drone's main battery and transmitter. A single charging system handles both and it charges them simultaneously. There's actually a split in the wires that you can hook both up at once and I really like that. Now the drone itself takes about an hour and 20 minutes to charge while the transmitter takes roughly three hours to charge. Speaking of the transmitter, the major difference between this one and that of all of the other drones that I've tested in the past is that this one has a large adjustable mount right in the middle of the face of it for placing either your tablet or your smartphone or other smart device so that you can view everything that the Phantom 4's camera sees live and in real time and it works whether you're recording at the time or not. So first you need to download and install the DJI app and make sure that you have a DJI account set up. But once everything's up and running, this is a really useful feature. The only problem for me is that my smartphone had so much glare at the time when I was recording all this that I couldn't really see too much. That's more of a problem with my phone though than with this drone, although it still would have been nice if they had have included some sort of a glare blocker with this thing. Uh, that would have been nice, but no such luck. If you're concerned about video storage and how to retrieve your videos once they're recorded, there's actually a 16 gigabyte micro SD chip plugged right into the back of the drone that you never even have to remove if you don't want. An included USB cord allows you to connect the Phantom 4 directly to any computer and transfer the files over. It's very easy, very convenient. Among the major selling points of the Phantom 4 are features like its obstacle avoidance system whereby it can detect obstacles that are in its way from a distance of up to 50 feet and take action to avoid hitting them such as going around or over them. Now this is a really great feature to use in conjunction with the return to home feature which works when you press that big old button right on the face of the transmitter. So say for instance that you lose sight of your drone behind a patch of trees or something when you're out flying a boat and you start to panic. Oh no I'm going to crash. Well. No big deal, don't worry about it. All you gotta do is press that return to home button and the drone will automatically use obstacle avoidance to make sure it gets home safely and lands without crashing into anything. These are two very nice features to have. Additional features here include an active track system for tracking objects with the Phantom Force camera simply by tapping their image on your smart device's screen, and the tap fly feature that allows you to tap the spot within the camera's field of vision that you'd like to fly to. And there's really a whole lot more that I could say about this thing, but you know, I'm going to just let you read the written review to get some of those details. All up, I highly recommend this drone. You know, if it's something you can afford, and if you're a serious drone enthusiast, or maybe a filmmaker, or virtually anyone with the need of a high resolution 
resolution aerial camera system. I really think you're going to love this little drone. It's light, it's easy to tote around, only weighs 3.04 pounds. And that's all I'm going to say for it for now. Um, do subscribe if you like this sort of thing. You just never know what I'll be getting up to next. So as always, this is Leo Bond signing off and saying thanks everyone for watching and have an excellent day.